Welcome. Today I bring you the preview of the next chapter of The Ambassador's Daughter. Zara helps a kin. Meanwhile Sanjar goes to look for Nair and finds her with Elvan washing Melek's hands to remove the paint. Sanjar beckons Nair to come with him but she ignores him, so Sanjar takes her by the arm and forcibly takes her to a room. Saying he won't let her out until they talk about everything, Nair tries to leave, but Sanjar locks the door, so scared Nair tells him that she will do what he says but not to lock the door because she has a phobia of him, so Sanjar agrees and opens the door. Asking her if she is afraid of him, he swears that he will not do anything to her, so Nair says that he knows and closes the door. Then they remember when they got engaged, Nair complains to him for having married another woman. Sanjar tells her that they were married even if it was for one night. Nair says she doesn't want to remember that night and that even though they have a daughter they have separated and what they had is over. So she asks if she can't accept it so they can move on with their lives. Sanjar asks if she accepted that what they had is over. Nair answers that she accepted it since they separated. Sanjar excuses himself about the night he threw her out saying that she is a liar and that she didn't know what was a lie and what was true. He also asks her why then she went to his wedding when according to her she already accepted the breakup. She reproaches him that when he went to the wedding he claimed to have forgotten her, and that she also doesn't deny stabbing a kin because he tried to stop her from going to the wedding. But now she says she has already forgotten, so she confuses him with her lies. Then she asks him why Akin was chasing Isabel, so Nair gets worried. Sanjar tells her that Akin was there when he went to the hospital and he was going to attack Isabel. Nair gets scared so Sanjar tells him that he stopped Akin before he did something to Isabel and because of that he was arrested. Nair doesn't say anything. So Sanjar asks him why Akin went there. As Nair doesn't answer he asks him to tell him something and asks him if he couldn't make up another lie. Furthermore he asks her if then it is true that Akin is obsessed with her. And if that is why he has been chasing them for so many years using Guven and Moog. Nair says nothing so Sanjar asks her if Akin hurt her, Nair scared says no. So Sanjar yells at her demanding the truth, she enrages and yells at him to give up. They both start arguing and Nair says she is going to make him never know what is true and what is a lie as her punishment will be not being able to get out of doubt. Upset she yells that she is fed up and wants to forget the past. Sanjar hugs Nair trying to calm her down. Meanwhile Akin introduces himself to Zara as Mert, a man with the same leg condition as her, and asks her out, saying that meeting must be fate and that he would like to see her again so Zara accepts. When she leaves Akin comments that he will destroy everyone around Nair until she accepts him. Nair writes to Isabel to tell her that Akin came looking for her at the hospital and that her deception has been exposed, so she asks to meet, and apologizes for involving her. Sanjar goes for a first aid kit and then goes to ask Alvan to entertain Melek since Nair has hurt her hand and doesn't want him to see her hurt. Elvan accepts and Sanjar goes to Nair, but she asks him to leave. He says that he is not going to leave and helps her, while he tells her that if it is better for her that he burns in the hell of doubt he will do it. Nair tells him that they should leave the stories and behave as responsibly as possible for Melek's sake. Since first of all they are parents and they cannot keep ruining everything for what happened to them. Reminding him that she has been hurt. He is married and even Elvan has been hurt and they have neglected Melek. Nair tells him that their Melek has a home and a father so he should be able to have a normal life and go to school. So Sanjar agrees. Nair excitedly asks him if he will then leave the past behind and forget everything for Melek's sake. But Sanjar says he won't be able to forget. So Nair replies that if they can't forget then they will have to get used to it and talks about how she is going to take care of Melek and take her to school and then go to work. Then Sanjar sadly remembers about the port. Nair says she is not going to quit her job. Sanjar leaves and says goodbye to Melek, so she is saddened and asks him if he will come back. He answers yes and gives her the news that they will look for a school for her, so Melek is happy. Elvan goes to Sanjar. He tries to cheer her up because of what happened with Yaya and gives her money. 
asking her to tell him if she needs anything. Elvon thanks him and they say goodbye. Yaya angrily recalls that Elvon has left the house to go with Nair. Meanwhile Golsier continues to be angry with Halise and Yaya for kicking Elvon out. Halise asks Yaya about Zara. So angry Yaya replies that she must be talking bad about them with Elvon at Nair's place. Zara arrives at the mansion and happily tells Kavarek about what happened with Mert, asking for help as she is interested in meeting him, so Kavarek is saddened. Guven goes to see Geddes to say that Karim knows where a kin is so they extort him asking for more money as long as he doesn't reveal it to Sanjar, so Geddes is furious and beats Karim. Then Geddes goes to visit Nair to tell her that Guven has gone to ask for more money. For his part, Guven tells Sanjar that he has found a kin but they will have to talk about the price again, so Sanjar gets upset. Geddes enters the house so Melek welcomes him happily and tells him that he will soon start studying and that they have painted the walls. Elvon takes Melek away so Nair tells Geddes that he already talked to Sanjar to tell him that he will not give up the job at the port. Geddes asks him about his injured hand. Nair tells him that he got hurt during the argument with Sanjar and that he is very close to find out the truth since he saw a kin in Switzerland. So Geddes is surprised. Nair tells him that Akin said something to Sanjar before the arrest and then escaped. Geddes gets upset and asks what Sanjar found out. Nair tells him that Sanjar thinks she stabbed Akin because he wanted to stop her from going to the wedding. As she went on purpose because from the beginning she wanted to leave Melek when he got married. Geddes asks her how she knew about the wedding. Nair replies that Akin told her to try to get her to marry him but when she rejected him he attacked her and that's why she stabbed him. Geddes asks her why she didn't see Sanjar before the wedding. But Nair replies that she didn't want to make him change his decision because he had already left her before. Geddes comments that now with what Akin said Sanjar will start to hope that she really went to avoid the wedding because she still loves him. Nair says that's what Sanjar believes. Geddes asks her if she really didn't want to disrupt the wedding. Nair replies that she wanted to but she doesn't plan to forgive Sanjar and that he can believe whatever he wants because she doesn't care and just wants to know that she is okay. Geddes assures her that she will be fine. But Nair gets distressed. The next day Akin arranges to meet Zara. Kavarik and Sanjar arrive at the mansion and see Zara leaving. They talk about Halis and Zara leaves pretending to go meet some friends. And so we end this preview, until next time.